Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahava Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who will well teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole Philalek. And Shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as The Laws Are Not Done Away With. And uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is uh, Deuteronomy 11, and we're going to start at verse 26. Deuteronomy 11 and 26, it says, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Con, we have blessings and curses as Israelites. We have an everlasting covenant, but we have blessings and curses as Israelites. And I want to prove that. This is Genesis 17 and 19. Genesis 17 and 19. And this is what the Lord said unto Father Abraham. Genesis 17, 19. And Yahweh said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. See, so we have an everlasting covenant. So we have blessings and curses as Israelites. Then you go to uh, Deuteronomy 11 and read back down at verse 26. Just wanted to prove that point. It says, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Verse 27, A blessing, if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your power, which I command you this day. See, so we are to be rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. Verse 28, And a curse, if ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your power, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods which ye have not known. And that's the biggest downfall that we have done in the eyesight of the Lord was uh, going after other gods right but this is the curse that's upon us as a people this is the curse that's upon us because we didn't keep the law statutes and commandments we broke the old covenant but we still have to keep the laws to the best of our ability let's read again verse 28 and a curse if ye will not obey the commandments of the lord your power but turn aside out of the way which i command you this day to go after other gods which you have not known and that's the condition of our people that's that curse our people are embedded in all these different uh false deities and false doctrines and false religions uh continue reading i got another precept um this is proverbs 13 13 right Proverbs 13, 13, whoso, it says, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. And that's what it's about. If you despise this word and this truth, you're going to be destroyed. But those that fear the commandment shall be rewarded. So we're rehearsing the righteous acts. We know that we're not going to be able to keep all the laws perfectly, but we have to rehearse them to the best of our ability. And I'm going to get that in uh, Judges really quick. This is Judges um, 5 and uh, 11. This is Judges 5 and 11. It says, They that are believed from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So we're rehearsing the righteous acts, which is keeping the laws and statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. We understand and know that we're not going to be able to keep the laws perfectly, not in this society and not in these mortal flesh. Because in these mortal flesh, that word mortal means death, we, we go off. We commit sin. We all sin, but we don't willingly sin. Too big difference. Too big difference. It says even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. So we are rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to keep the laws perfectly. We're not under the laws. And I'm going to bring that too because you got Jake's that teach that we're under the laws. And we don't teach that. And you got wacky Christians bearing false witness on us saying that we say that we're under the laws. We know that we're not under the laws. But we still have to keep them to the best of our ability. So let's bring that out. This is uh, Romans 6 and 14. Because this, this is the precept that they read. Romans 6 and 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law but under grace. So they'll say this. and say see we're not under the law. So we don't have to keep the laws. You're wrong. We still have to keep the laws to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. You're right. We're not under the laws. 
but we still have to keep them to the best of our ability. They say, oh, we're no longer under the law, so we don't have to keep them. That's wrong because then you're telling them that it's okay to sin, to do as thou wilt, and that's wicked. We aren't going to be able to keep all the laws perfectly, but we are to rehearse them and keep them to the best of our ability. So you're right. We aren't under the laws. We're under grace, but grace is temporal. So you should be getting yourself right at the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. You don't want to be out here willingly sinning. Because you still have to keep the laws. Just because we're not under them, that don't mean that you don't have to keep them. You still do. Verse 15, this is what Apostle Paul said. Because they read verse 14, but not 15. 15 is blunt and it's telling you. Romans 6 and 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. See? So that means that we still have to keep the laws. Just because we're not under the laws, that don't mean that you don't have to keep them. We still have to rehearse them and keep them to the best of our ability. Let's get out of uh, Matthew 5 and 17. This is Matthew 5 and 17. And this is the Messiah speaking. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. But his true name is Jehovah This is what the Lord said. Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Because you got the these wacky tacky Christians. You got these TD Jakes. These craft low dollars. They say that the laws have been nailed to the cross. And we don't have to keep them. Which is totally off. Because this is what the Lord said. Verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. He didn't come to destroy the law. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. He didn't come to destroy the law or the prophets. What the prophets taught. He didn't come to get rid of any of that. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. But to fulfill. Verse 18. For verily, for truly, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall, no, shall in no wise pass from the law. Till all be fulfilled. See? So the laws are not done away with. Verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. And shall teach men so. Because that's what these wacky tacky Christians teach. They teach that the laws are done away with. And we don't have to keep no laws. We just grace only. We are under grace. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to keep the laws anymore. You still have to keep them to the best of your ability. Because what is sin? If there's no law, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. We all sin. That's why we repent to the Lord. We're under grace. But we still have to keep the laws. The ones that we can keep. We're not going to be able to keep all of them though. Right? But we're going to keep the no we're going to keep the ones that we can keep to the best of our ability. That's rehearsing the righteous acts. It says, and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. See? You're condemning people from receiving salvation that way. Right? Because you're telling people you don't have to keep no laws. You can do as thou wilt, which is against the scriptures. It says, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the prophets, the men of the Lord, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the sincere brothers like myself, we're telling our people to rehearse the righteous acts. Keep the laws to the best of your ability. You're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. And we're not, when we say we're not, you're not going to be able to keep them perfectly, we're not telling you to willingly sin. That's not what we're saying. We're telling you to rehearse the righteous acts, the ones that you can't keep, keeping the Sabbath days, Keeping the high holy days to the best of your ability, right? Repenting, withdrawing, you know, keeping the dietary law, withdrawing from eating the unclean animals, you know. Those are the laws that you can keep. You are to keep those. But you're not going to be able to keep all of them, though. But you could, you are to rehearse the righteous acts, you know, not smoking weed no more, not smoking, you know, not, um, you know, being, uh, being uh, wicked, you know, getting, getting lineups. Line up your beard, line up your hair. That's a law. The law said not to round the corners of your head, nor to, nor to your beard, not to mar on your beard. That word mar means to corrupt or to destroy. So you're not supposed to do that. That's what hurting the right. Those that's what hurts the righteous righteous acts. Not getting tattoos. That's what that's what hurts the righteous acts. So I'm just giving you examples. You're not gonna be able to keep all the laws perfectly, but the laws that you can keep, you are to keep to the best of your ability. We're all gonna go off, but the main thing is repenting though. Not willingly sin. Big difference. It says, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So there you go. The laws are not done away with. We still have to keep the laws to the best of our ability. First John 3 and 4. Whosoever commit a sin transgress also the law. See? So sin is the transgression of the law. So how is the law done away with? That don't make no sense. It says, for sin is the transgression of the law. See? It says, whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. 
Because if again, if there's no law, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. So if you commit sin, you're violating the law. You just broke the law, broke the Mosaic law. We are to still keep it to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to keep it perfectly, but we are to keep the laws to the best of our ability. You know, let's go back to that Romans really quick. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, not make this too long. Um, Romans 6 and 23. For, for the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Wages is amounts. All right. Amounts of sin. For wages of sin. It says for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Hamashiach, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. See? So again, for again, it says for the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. That's why you want to repent. That's why we're, you know, while we're in this grace period, you're to be repenting. This is uh, 1 John 5 and I start at verse 2. It says, by this we know that we love the children of Yahweh. When we love Yahweh and keep his commandments. See, so we are to rehearse the righteous acts, keeping the commandments. Verse 3, for this is the love of Yahweh. Because everybody say, oh, I love, I love the Heavenly Father. And I love the Messiah. I love the Heavenly Father. And I love the Messiah. Well, if you love him, you will do this. For this is the love of Yahweh, Bashim Yashai. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. It's not a burden. Right? So you are to rehearse the righteous acts. You are to keep them to the best of your ability. We're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. We know that. But we still ought to rehearse the righteous acts though. Let's get out that John 14. This is John 14. And uh, verse 15. It says, if, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, the Messiah. If ye love me, this is what he said unto the disciples, the apostles. If ye love me, keep my commandments. See, so you are to keep the commandments. To the best of your ability. You're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. But you're to keep them to the best of your ability. Second John 1 and 4. I rejoice greatly that I found of thy children walking in truth. As we have received a commandment from the Father. Verse 5. And now I beseech thee lady. Not as though I write a new commandment unto thee. But that which we had from the beginning. What was it that we had from the beginning? The Mosaic law. That was given to us from the beginning. That we love one another. Verse 16. And this is love. That we walk after his commandments. See. That's to sh that's how you show the Lord. The heavenly father. And his only begotten son. That you love him. Is by keeping the laws. Statutes and commandments. Rehearsing the righteous acts. Keeping them to the best of your ability. You ain't going to be to keep them perfectly. It says. This is the commandment. That as ye have heard from the beginning. Ye shall walk in it. So there you go. We are to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. This is Proverbs 14 and 12. And we'll end it with this. We'll wrap it up with this. Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Let's prove that. This is uh, Psalms 148. And I believe it's 14. Psalms 148 and 14. It says, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of his saints, who are the Israelites, even, even of the children of Israel. See, his saints are the Israelites. A people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So the saints are the Israelites. Okay. Revelation 14 and 12. Here is the patience of the saints. The saints are the Israelites. Psalms 148 and 14. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High. See, so we have to rehearse the righteous acts. The laws are not done away with. I'm not saying we're under the laws. We are not under the laws. We are under grace. But while we're in the grace period, grace is temporal. You still have to keep the laws to the best of your ability. That's the whole point. And the faith of Yahweh Shai. Faith is what's going to save us, though. That's the main thing that we are to have is the faith. So we are to have both. We are to keeping. We're keeping the laws. To the best of our ability, which is rehearsing the righteous acts, we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, but we're mainly having the faith. We're also having the faith with it. We're not just having the laws only and that's it. No, we keeping the laws and we're having the faith. Faith is what's going to save us. That's the most important thing in the, in the ministry, in the truth, is having the faith. 
So a low one is less is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Yahweh Chachodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad. Put your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord will this lesson was edifying. The laws are not done away with. We still have to rehearse them. Shalom.